that uh, bring out some of the most defining achievements of India in the field of science and technology in the last 75 years. As you know, your country is doing, uh, you know, celebrating the 75 years of independence. Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav aapke desh mein manaya ja raha hai. A small tip from my side. Uh, this is an answer which we have attempted from the point of view of science and technology. I would want you to have a list from every, for example, what were the major economic developments in the last 75 years? Same question, instead of science and technology, try to write, how has the society evolved post-independence? Answer for society, what are the important developments in terms of infrastructure in last 75 years? Or you can say that what are the important environmental, uh, you know, initiatives that have been taken uh, in the last 75 years? Because ye Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav mein, one digital, uh, you know, India, the Digital India campaign is actually showing result now, the infrastructure which has been built to communicate to strong, uh, you know, to strengthen the communication, uh, you know, infrastructure of the country uh, for the payment system, you have the payments bank, you have UPI, you have Bheem, etc. Now, this is what we want to teach here. This is one way of teaching you that this is the theme which is important. The idea of MSP is one identification of important themes. So, uh, we have told you that the theme is celebrating 75 years of independence and with that celebration also celebrating let's say culture environmental efforts science and technology infrastructure status of women status of sc st obc status of uh, let's say the disabled now the question can be anything the idea is 75 years so you should have a list of the important achievements on the different topics Chali. so now coming to this question this question is a 10 marker so we have to wind up the answer in two pages the idea is your body your uh, introduction uh, body and main should not go beyond uh, 175 words or 200 so as you can see my handwriting is a little broader one so it has taken more space uh, the idea is one time management management of space and to represent your data very well so now in this question it is clear that I need to point out the important achievements now there is a common mistake which you can do is try to write too much in this answer Always remember, you have to write about five to six themes. This is a very elaborate question, right? In 10 marks, it is telling you what are the important or defining achievements. You cannot write about uh, entire health sector. You cannot talk about pharmacy also. You cannot talk about, let's say, railways. You cannot talk about space. You cannot talk about, uh, you know, construction. You cannot talk about everything. So, find a few very, very important themes and write about them. Try to use an infographic or try to use bullet point system. Chaliye. So, in this answer, how we have attempted is, uh, in the introduction, uh, you can write that India has got global recognition in the field of science and technology. Uh, as you can see here, that since independence, India has several achievements to its credit. And now we have a global recognition in the, in the field of science and technology by, and first is, Food security. So now we have taken the reference of the three important revolutions. The three revolutions which is your green revolution, your white revolution and your blue revolution. Green revolution for uh, food security uh, or agriculture. Then you have white revolution for milk, amul, dood dairy, vargi, skurian. Uh, then you have blue revolution that is aiming at fisheries. So you can write that the three agricultural revolution, green, white and blue, have made India self-sufficient in food, grains, milk, fish and marine products. Humko behna nahi hai. Remember word limit and you do not have time to give too much stress on one point in the answer Chaliye, what can be the second important achievement the first the first is 
फूड सिक्योरिटी द सेकेंड हियर इज द सैटेलाइट सिस्टम्स आई थिंक इसरो आई थिंक इसरो हैज मेड अ ग्रेट मार्क इन दर्ल्ड स्पेशली विद बींग Uh, an agency which has uh, GSLV, PSLVs, which has its own satellite system for both remote sensing and communication, and now we are planning to send even a manned mission to space. We have Chandrayaan three lined up. We already have Mangalyaan. But can I sum up? So I have taken the most important one, which is the satellite system for communication for weather forecasting. All right. So. Uh, Uh, in satellite system you can say that the launch of the insat and the irs satellites why have i chosen insat and irs satellite because these are actually uh, the feat by the isro which has touched maximum number of lives it is also for the welfare of the people reason being it has revolutionized the communication and television services in india also the weather department and the related satellites have also the weather department and the related satellites for the weather forecasting have helped the million of farmers and because of forecasting we have saved many lives how because by predicting torrential rainfall by predicting cyclones by predicting tsunamis etc so uh, we have chosen satellite system for the fact that it is touching maximum lives india is an agricultural country so it is helping farmers also to do better farming now why because you are giving farmers information on uh, the uh, weather when the rainfall is how much rainfall to expect etc the third field that i have chosen is medicine and pharmaceutical now india is called the pharmacy to the world right and why india is called the pharmacy to the world because it is one of the biggest suppliers of affordable uh, medicine as well as vaccines to the world india has made its mark in the generic med medicines generic vaccines uh, making and has also created a name for itself the idea is when will we become the laboratory to the world we have become the pharmacy the idea is to become the laboratory to the world now coming uh, to the fourth area the fourth area that i can say is the nuclear power of course india had embargo india had restrictions india was not allowed to deal in the nuclear fissile material we had a lot of blockages which were put on us by the western world when india chose to do a nuclear test as a uh, as a defense for the neighbors from the neighbors now pakistan had already done the nuclear test you already had uh, you know a bitter experience with china so it was very important for india to have its own nuclear doctrine to have its own nuclear regime apart from that india is a developing country we are dependent on coal for electricity which is a non renewable source so india has also developed the energy production in fact india india aims to uh, you know increase its overall energy production by 3 times in the coming years in order to uh, you know fulfill the demands of the country so yes the next topic i have taken is nuclear power but do i have the liberty to write all of this no so how to write that that india is the only developing country to have indigenously developed demonstrated and deployed nuclear reactors for electricity generation if you see i have chosen the themes which are touching more life which are meant for more developmental processes or developmental uses all right now coming to the fifth area the fifth area is defense and how drdo and other important agencies such as hal isro together have created indigenous uh, arsenal and of ballistic missiles so your integrated guided missile development program the integrated guided missile development program which is behind the development of now uh, then you also have apart from that you have created astra missile 
यू हैव क्रिएटेड आकाश मिसाइल्स यू हैव क्रिएटेड आकाश न्यू जनरेशन मिसाइल विच हैज गॉट दी आकाश मिसाइल्स हैव गॉट दी अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द कैबिनेट टू बी एक्सपोर्टेड ऑल्सो एज यू सी डी आर डी ओ इज नॉट ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इंडिया ऑन द मैप एज एन एक्सपोर्टर ऑल्सो एज द सप्लायर ऑफ वेपन्स सो डिफेंस इज अनादर एरिया वेर द लॉन्च और और द क्रिएशन और द सक्सेसफुल इंडिजिनियस आर्सनल ऑफ द बेलिस्टिक मिसाइल्स क्रूज मिसाइल्स ना क्रूज मिसाइल्स यू हैव ब्रह्मोस विच इंडिया हैज डेवलप्ड अलॉन्ग विद योर रशिया ब्रह्मोस वेर Uh, it stands from brahmaputra and moscow these are the two rivers and uh, along with the launch vehicles now launch vehicles india has indigenously produced pslv and gslv which are important launch vehicles you have to understand these are launch vehicle kya hota hai it works on the uh, uh, what is exactly a launch vehicle it it basically works on the same principle as rocket so therefore your uh, defense and your space technology they are very closely associated especially when it comes to launching so they have created good launch vehicles and now india has uh, india has an icbm and which has brought india among the only six countries in the world which has intercontinental ballistic missiles so here uh, within this heading i have tried to include the integrated missile development program i have tried to include the launch vehicles i have tried to include the uh, ballistic missiles i have tried to include the cruise missiles i have tried to include the icbm example also of agni 5 which has been recently uh, you know tested so uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles are the missiles which have range beyond 55 Hundred kilometers, so uh, therefore they are called intercontinental. Intercontinental because they can target far off distances. All right. Then the sixth would be the development of supercomputers. Now this is because the su national supercomputing mission is now boosting India to meet the increasing computational demand. Why the uh, where are the areas where these demands are being increased in the academia, in researches for MSMEs, for startups, and in areas such as oil exploration, flood prediction, for all of this, for drug delivery, genomic studies, you have a DNA fingerprinting or DNA bill. in which dna sequencing dna fingerprinting will be done for all this you need very uh, good computers or super computers which have good computational speeds which have computational speeds more than your regular computers and this is these are also developed by india so param was your first super computer and india has come a long way since then so this was your body let us go back i gave sort of an introduction that how since independence india has become this uh, you know beautiful country which has uh, done a lot of development in the field of science and technology then i took the uh, uh, example of food security satellite system medicine and pharmaceuticals then i took the example of nuclear power uh, defense and sixth super computers and within two pages i have actually covered six areas and i have done the conclusion as well where i have said that though india has achieved several scientific breakthroughs in the last 75 years the challenges of the current times such as the climate change need to ensure nutritional security of the billion population which we have in our country it demands that india continues to focus on innovation so in the introduction you applauded india and then in the conclusion you accepted that india has done a lot but a lot has to be done more so i think this is a very complete answer this is how you have to write answer to the questions which can have a very open ended discussion all right so uh, that was my attempt i'll come up with more such questions till then thank you very